I just thank God I'm a, I'm a, a vessel. Well, we know God has his hands on you. I'm not sure, baby, if you ask the question, location, time, and place for the play. There you go, baby. That's my help, man. Where's yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody else talk. Uh, come on, man. Talk to me. You can't just sit there and not Your talk. Your name's Jimmy. Play right now. <laughs> come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, Devin. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? Hey. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? Um, the play is March 22nd, 23rd, and the 30th is at the Harold Washington Culture Center um, on 47th and King Drive. Tickets are available right now everywhere. Get them. Everywhere. You hear that now. <laughs> get, get your tickets. Stop Stop playing. <laughs> yeah. The, actually, right now, the, the general admission tickets are $20. VIP tickets, $30. We have an Eventbrite where you can go to www.desperate.eventbrite.com and grab the tickets. And if you just want to call for tickets, you want them dropped off, call 773-653-7424. On Saturday, show starts at 7 p.m. On Sundays, the 23rd as well as the 30th, show starts at 5 p.m. Now, I want to see you there. What's yeah, the difference yeah. between the tickets? You said VIP and then the regular Oh, uh, yeah. We have we have a, a sponsor from uh, Uncle Remus Chicken. So, uh, so for the VIP, yeah, look, she look, she got excited. Yeah. yeah. Uncle so Raymond, the, you said? Uncle, Uncle Remus. Chicken. Uncle Remus Chicken. That's right. From Your the sponsor? West side of Chicago. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. That's a, so yeah, yes, wow. ma'am. So look, VIP, you get free uh, chicken and, and biscuits and uh, the macaroni Sides. and all that stuff. <laughs> uh, and, and there's a, a reception at 6 p.m. and you get closer seats. So you can't beat that. Now don't, now don't call. And, and how much are those well, tickets? The VIP tickets? That's, that's when you the get VIP the VIP are 30. Yeah. Okay. Now, right. don't, now don't, come to us, don't come to us acting uh, bougie talking about what else we get. You go downtown, oh, you know only thing down. you get is a closer <laughs> seat in 50, a $50 park. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then like $5 drinks. Right. And that's just the tea. That's the water, baby. So I want to just go around the table and uh, you all tell us uh, what? Why, before, why are you stopping me, girl? Before you do, do that. Before I do what? See, I'm what? feeling your muscles. I got a very important announcement. Okay, what you got, girl? Support the McCain yeah, train. Hey, that, that wasn't right. important. That we are an, asking for you love go, offering. Let me get it through, boo. I'm going to talk when I want to talk, girl. You know how we do this. We are asking for love offering you. to support our to. show. Because I can. <laughs> Go on, girl. <laughs> I'm going to try this one more time because he's showing out. Support the yeah. McCain train. We are asking for love offering to support our show. You can send all love offerings to, what's the name of the show, y'all? Let's stay Let's together. I'm about to say y'all failed to test. <laughs> P.O. Box 902 South Holland, Illinois 60473. I want to do these shout outs because once we dev into this, yeah, I want go ahead, us girl. to go do, into it. Do your shout out. Okay. Special shout out to Pastor James T. Meeks. Yes, Lord. Pastor, Stella, love you, Baptist man. Church of Chicago and my Shiro. She wrote, Dewana Roby, a Cafe Delight and Company catering company. This young lady is zip applies being a servant for the Lord. Not only does she cook, she cook, y'all, she cook she the cook. food, and she delivers the food to the homeless on Lower and Lord. Upper Wacker Drive. God bless and you, this sister. is a diva that's doing this. Yeah, so yeah. God bless her. This week, Lord Listener, shout out goes out to Brian Blummer Brian. and Rufus Cunningham and our loyal listeners from Georgia, Bloomington, Illinois, Texas, Wisconsin, North Carolina, Florida, and Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, hey, Brian, I want to say hi to you, man. I know you're probably driving right now. Much love to you. You and also, what's the other brother's name? Um, Rufus. Rufus. Yeah, Rufus Cutting. <laughs> we, we're going to give it out to Rufus, too, as well. So, uh, as I was going to say, uh, we're going to just go around and just ask the cast a little bit about uh, who you are and what you do in the play. So, I'm going to start off with my sister over here. Uh, with the camera right there. Talk to me and let me know your... Because <laughs> she's like, I don't know what she's doing over there, boy. But talk to me okay. about uh, your part of the play and give us just a brief synopsis about that. Um, I play a character... But, oh, my name is Elizabeth Jenkins. Elizabeth and, Jenkins. Uh, Elizabeth Jenkins, hi. And speak a little louder. Okay, speak a little louder. Yeah, you got to almost holler in these mics. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Elizabeth Jenkins and I play the character of Jade. Um, Jade is a... Excuse me. She's a young, sophisticated uh, person, a young woman, and she's is the girlfriend of the main character, 
and she's just she's a woman that represents um a positive black woman you know she's got her education she's doing good for herself as far as you know financially and she kind of just supports um she's the support for her boyfriend you know as he goes through what he goes through and he deals with what he deals with she's the woman that stands by him and that encur- keeps him encouraged Amen. tries to keep him encouraged okay then so our, okay little one uh, Brittany. Brittany. <laughs> Come on. the one who looked like she's about 15 years old you're gonna love that when you get about 50 something right, and you look right. like you're like 30 you're gonna love that girl because she looked like she's 15 we had almost had to check your car before you came in here. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, my name is Brittany Hayes. Hey. I play the character of Linda. And Linda, um, after living an expensively lavish, finer lifestyle, she is broke and desperate for money. So um, You said that name was Brenda? Linda. Oh, Linda. I'm sorry. <laughs> Clowner. But yes, yeah, she's coming to get her taxes done by um, another main character, which um, turns out to be pretty interesting. So you definitely got to come and see that. Yeah, don't, you can't give everything all the way. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I know how to do this. You, gotta, you just got to wet the appetite and, right, right, and just right. fall off. The McCain train is closer now to Nicole, right? Yes, yes. Okay, Nicole Reed? Yes. Go ahead, Lady Reed. Go ahead. Well, I play the role of Kelly. This is my favorite role in the play. She's the... (laughs) (laughs) My favorite role in the play. How many roles you have in this play? (laughs) Uh, And then uh, I guess she's the loving wife of her Pookie Bear. um, And she's pretty much... she. Looks after him. She's make she makes sure he's taken care of, and she's pretty much like the woman who loves her man and makes no like uh, excuses for loving her man. Okay, we have a pattern here, Tracy. These two take care of their man. Yes, okay, don't say one word. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. Um, <laughs> next, how y'all doing again? Devin Miranda. <laughs> I'm, I'm Devin Deontay. Um, I play the role of Jim, um, Jim. and she don't take that. Good care of uh, her husband. Sorry, <laughs> tried it. All, all that. <laughs> um, but uh, Jim, Jim is a is a very wealthy person. He's a he's a doctor. Um, um, what else is Jim? <laughs> you know your character. He, he, no, he wants to be very careful <laughs> right, right, so I'm he trying, don't give too I'm much information. To too much away. Hey, I understand. Hey. hey. Okay, yeah. I can. Okay, okay. You, <laughs> Jim, Jim, Jim. Okay, Jim is a doctor. And he does not he does not um know God at all. He doesn't know us. Okay, Jim, you got to go right now. <laughs> I, I, I said Jim, not Devron. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 saved. Amen. I like but that. Jim Jim he got the problems. I'm good. Amen. Uh, and Jim is fine, y'all too. I'm just letting y'all know that. <laughs> and that is not necessarily the views of the radio station or Let's Stay Together radio show. Thank you very much, Tracy. Go ahead, my brother. Pray, praise the Lord anyway. Um, yeah, he, he doesn't he doesn't know God at all. And um something happens. And I'll just leave it at that. Amen. Something happens. All right, my brother, it's your turn. Joe, Joe. Talk to me, talk to me. Big Joe in the house. Right. Well, I'm Joe, Joseph Botain. Everybody call me Joe. I'm the executive producer for RJ Productions. So I'll be that guy when you come through the front doors, collecting the tickets, mm-hmm. collecting the money. Yeah. I'm pretty much behind the scenes, money behind man. the scenes, and pretty much um, I handle the business part of RJ Productions. So, hey, so Joe that. makes it happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Joe makes it happen. Mm-hmm. So money now man. we got one more gentleman here. We want him to tell us about who he is. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My name is uh, Richard Gallion. I'm the writer, the director. Um, play the lead guy, David, in the production. David is a guy that's he's not um, he's not a stranger to God, but he just haven't had a conversation with him in a while. He's just been dealing with the streams of life, and it's been having a a, 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 a toll on him. And from that toll, you know, different things changes his perspective in life, and he starts to try to do things better. But there's always op- obstacles that gets in the way, and you know, you got to come see what those obstacles are and see how it folds out. Hey, Amen. So what I'm hearing about this play is that it's going to be life changing, and it's got a lot of different uh, things that are happening in there. How did you put all of this together? I know it's like you said, God, but 
you know, my wife has written a book. I've written a book as well. Mine's is not as good as hers, and I'll, I'll admit that I don't have any problem with that. You know, she can't preach, so I, I'm doing that. So she can't she can't sing, so I'm doing that. But how did you? I mean, to put all of that together, how did you come about the beginning to the end of just getting that message across? Where it's so powerful, and I, I actually believe this is going to be such a powerful play that until the time that is over, the Let's Stay Together show is going to be pubbing it continuously. But with that said, what was the vision to make it that powerful so people can just walk away with tears in their eyes? Honest, honestly, man, I I can't tell you. I, I've never took a writing class. I never took a directing class. Mm-hmm. never took an acting class. I mean, it's, it's, it's coming from no one but God and you know, I, I I really can't even explain it to you. Now, see, that's what I like about a brother. He he didn't he didn't wrote the play, produced the play, but he's given all the credit to God. And that's when you know that a play is going to be successful because God is the head. Hey, Nate, how we doing in time, man? We got about five minutes left. Nate can talk to us again. <laughs> Y'all don't know this, but Nate couldn't talk to us for a while. So, yeah, we, no, we had to sit there and say Nate talk because they didn't want us to Nate talk. Baby, you want to give them those telephone numbers one more time? Yes, I do. Indiana, 219-933-9922. Suburbs, 708-445-9922. Chicago, 773-288-9922. And I'm rolling in with something else, Ricardo. What are you I'm rolling in with? trying to knock out. Oh, before we continue on, I want to thank the Facebook family for picking the topics for Listener's Choice yes, for, listener's the month choice of March. for the month of March. Ooh, Next yeah. week's show so is wild. about extended, blended families. Yes. Can we bring them together or will they tear us apart? So yeah, we, please listen in next week. We got week. a lot of uh, response back for that March uh, topics, and we're very happy about all the Facebook people all across the United States that are sending in information to us. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. So we've got about a few more minutes, and I just want to uh, go around the table and and tell me just one thing about this play, if you can give it in one word, and then we're going to switch it. One word that you can say uh, that synonifies or, or so, and I'm saying that right, Richard? Give me that word. Am I saying that? <laughs> Solidifies. <laughs> Solidifies. Okay. Because, you know, he got me scared over here. Now I got to say everything right. You know, because usually we just talk country and just say what we want to say. But now I got, you know, Lakeview over here keeping me in check. You know. <laughs> So give me one, give me one thing. He got me nervous now. I'm like, uh, you know, t- give me one thing. You know, I'm joking, girl. Give me one thing about the play that you would want. You know, one word you can just describe the play. Powerful. Hope. Inspirational. Movie. Come on, man. You, you uplifting. I thought he was gonna say tickets. <laughs> Blessed. Bless. Nate, what we got, man? About three minutes? Three minutes, yep. Three minutes, baby. Okay, well, I'm going to say this when, if, if they can get to it, but if not, you had um, a tagline, a phrase, a quote that says, what do you do yes. when someone destroys your dreams while they're on their way to fulfilling their own? Now, this question statement is posed to you, not the character, but what would you do, not the character. So anybody, hop in for one before we go to our commercial break. Uh, nobody wants to ask that question. We still, they're, they're, sti- they're, they're still here. What do you do when someone destroys your dreams on the way to fulfilling their own? You punch them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, you know what? Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. No one has been saved their entire life. So it depends on what uh, state of mind you're in at that present time that it's happening. It also depends on the other trials and tribulations that you, you know, are going through because sometimes... And I'm not going to even lie to you. I'm not holier than thou, you know, but sometimes. None of us are, man. Yeah, sometimes when someone says something to do and do something that really aggravates you, you know, there's a, a, a physical portion of you that want to just punch them in the face. But then again, you know, the godly portion is to just pray for them and let God deal with them. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
it just depends on what 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 mode I'm in. Yeah, and you just have to hope that the flesh is more is not as more powerful than the spirit at that time. That's right. Because there, I mean, I'm gonna tell you something. We always are real at that. There are sometimes that you know, I'm, when I go to work or certain places, and I, I will agree to that that people can really get on oh, your yes. nerve. And if there wasn't no Jesus, I'd be preaching this from uh, Cook County Pr- Correctional Center right now <laughs> because they will test you and they will they will prod you and they will do certain things against you. So it is true that you have to be just you know prayed up and spiritually led